friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, <clears throat> excuse my voice, I'm like just recovering from um, having a sinus infection. Sir, I'm gonna need you to back up. Sorry. It's also early, so my dog is like, what are you doing? Like, can we hang out? But um, let's get into the content of our video today. Um, so this video is going to be about the oils and serums that I've currently been using and kind of why, um, how I've been using them, what has been my method, um, <clears throat> and like basically how it's been working for me. And so we'll talk a little bit about that today in this video. Um, so the products that I'm going to mention today, first of all, let me tell you what's in my hair. Um, Right now in my hair is the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner, um, the Camille Rose um, Curl Up Moisture Milk, and then the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic. Um, and this is day three, day three here, which never happens, y'all. Like, you see how it still looks good? Like, it ne this ne never happens. Anyway, um, that's what's in my hair. Um, still looks really good, has really great moisture, still feels really soft, smells amazing, um, and it's day three here. So let's get into what we're talking about today though with the oils. So the two uh, oils, the oils slash serums that you're gonna see me mention today are products that I've mentioned before um, that are tried and true that I have repurchased for over the last six months. So they have been things that I have tested for quite a long time that really work for me. Um, and they have been things that I have like never not purchased, which I think is like such a bizarre concept when I really think about it. Uh, but since I started these products, I have not stopped buying them, if that makes sense. Um, and so I started both of these, I think more so in the pandemic. One of them, I think I started before the pandemic, but the other one I really discovered in the pandemic when I decided to stop shaving the sides and back of my hair <clears throat> and that I was going to grow it out. And I picked this up to be able to like really rejuvenate the scalp, um, and stimulate hair growth. And I just have been using it ever since. So Let's talk about our first one, which is the Camille Rose Rejuva Drops with castor oil, peppermint oil, and salt palmetto for hair loss and alopecia is what it's actually built for. But I use it really to stimulate my scalp. Um, it says it is masterfully mixed with castor oil, peppermint oil, and salt palmetto to nourish the hair and reduce hair loss while slowing the aging process by blocking DHT. Rejuvenates, stimulates, and strengthens the hair follicle to diminish hair loss. And it says apply to wet or dry hair, use two to three drops, massage gently into your hair and scalp around the line or edges, apply twice per day, style as usual, follow with your favorite Camille Rose conditioning and styling products. Um, and that's for your edges. For problem areas, it says to use two to three drops or more based on the hair density of area being treated, massage gently into your hair, scalp. For that problem area, apply twice per day and style as usual using your favorite Camille Rose products. Um, so I would say that I do this twice per day. I do once in the morning, once at night. Um, and I do it through my hair, but I also really do it for my edges. Um, pulling on my edges for me is what pulls and thins these really bad. And so um, I definitely put them there. But I have been using this since the pandemic. It comes in a 1.9 fluid ounce bottle. I think it retails at Target for $19.99 if you are looking for it on the ground. Um, but this is really, really great. It takes me about maybe a month, a month and a half to get through this. Um, but I always restock on it. Like, I absolutely love it. This has been working really, really well for me with hair growth. I will also put this in my hair when I'm deep conditioning, massage, and then steam. And that, like, really sets it off um, for me personally. And so that's another really good way to use this and add it into your regimen. But this is one of my faves. It's, like, the only hair serum that I'm using right now because I just keep coming back to it because it's that good. Um, and I'll show... I need to really do like a, at the end of this year, like a full clip of my hair because y'all, I had shaved sides. Like it was completely shaved all the way around here about two years ago. And my hair has grown back so well and so much in addition to like the trimming and all the other things that I've done. Like I stopped cutting, stopped shaving my head like bare 
in spring of 2019. It is 2022, right? We're getting ready to go into 2023. Um, and so spring of 2023, like that April, May will be exactly four years. Um, but for like a year, all of this was shorter than the rest of the top. Well, no, like the last two years, all of this was shorter than the top. And so the top was hanging over like a mop. And so we are finally hit like the grow out phase where the back of my hair is the same length as the top of my hair. Cause I was slowly cutting. Um, it just like, you know, this product, I attribute a lot to this product through that process because I got this. I want to say that's the first time I tried it when I stopped cutting my hair. Like I started buying this to um, really go on my scalp and it was like tingly and felt really good. Um, and I've just been using it ever since. And it's like really, really worked for me um, in that capacity. The other thing that I've really been using is my Camille Rose Coco Nibs Ultimate Strength Serum with Ayurvedic Brahmi and Amla oils. It's the, a healing hair oil blend crafted to combat thinning and hair breakage. And I would say this really does do that. Um, it says, restore your strands of cocoa nibs and honey and ultimate strength serum. A restorative oil cocktail of Ayurvedic Amla oil and Brahmi herbal infusions crafted to open blocked hair follicles for improved circulation and optimal hair strength. Shake well before use. Pour a small amount onto fingertips and massage into scalp. Use every other night before bedtime or as often as needed. Wash and condition as normal with Camille Rose for best results. <clears throat> and so... I really do do that with this product. Like I use this so, so much, probably too much. Um, so, so much. You'll see me like take this and put it right in my scalp and then really work it in and then really massage. And then the same thing through the back. And I really like to put it on these like lower back hairs because they get a lot of friction. Those ones like right near my neckline. They get a lot of friction, and so I really like to lubricate those. I also really like to use this on the length of my hair in a wash and go. Um, so in between like my leave-in and my hair milk, which we'll talk about um, in one of my other clips, um, if I'm using like a leave-in and a cream, a leave-in and a milk, then I'll put this in between the two layers, and then I'll put the gel on top. Sometimes I'll put it on top of the gel at the very end. Like it, that's what I did for this wash and go, and honey, it gave me shine for like days. Like my hair still has shine. Um, so I think it really depends on how you use it. I have used this so many different ways to figure out how it can work best for me. And I like really value that about the product. Um, so this is another really, really good one if you're looking for an oil. If you're looking for something that is going to really work to strengthen your curls, strengthen your hair. I massage it into my scalp. I also deep condition with it. So I will add it to enhance a deep conditioner build it into my scalp, put it into my hair, put it on the length, especially my ends, steam, or just sit in a shower cap with that oil and the deep conditioner. Like it's phenomenal for both of those ways. And so I've used this in a lot of different capacities. I will actually never go back to another oil. This and I would say the runner up that I love that's like this is the melanin hair oil. Um, but those are the only two oils that I have repurchased and repurchased and repurchased and repurchased. They are that good. Um, and so this is hands down like my favorite. It also smells so good. So if you are like, you need a good smelling oil, this is also great. Um, it's made of amla oil, um, ses sesame seed oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, olive oil, um, macadamia oil, um, honey, biotin, MSM, tea tree, BTMS, Brahmi, um, Bringage herbs, like it has everything. It's so good. Um, so definitely check this out if you've never tried it. All right, so those are the two, like the serum and oil that I've been using. Y'all know I have been like loving Camille Rose hands down. And so that, that's all, that's it, y'all. That's it, that's all I got for you. Um, but these are really great if you're looking for a healthy hair routine and you're trying to get growth back or strength back. Um, or really just want to make sure that you're maintaining the growth and the strength and the length of your hair, I would definitely suggest those two products as building them into your arsenal. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, have a great day. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.